Hi, it's Shane here. Uh, I'm looking at the Erd tree today because I thought using the Erd tree would be a good opportunity to sort of explain the concept of the worry tree. Um, I'm looking at the Erd tree from Limgrave, uh, largely just because there's you know greenery here. It's a bit nice. It's kind of far enough away that you can see the whole tree, but you can see it lit up in the night sky, which is always nice. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a better look at it and use this as kind of the background for explaining the concept. So, the worry tree is essentially a decision-making tree when you're having worries or anxious thoughts. And it's about how do you acknowledge the worry, make a decision around it to kind of take some control over it, and then how do you let the worry go to kind of stop the worrying thoughts from happening. So the first thing to do is notice when you're worried. Are you getting physical sensations, physical feelings? Are you experiencing, you know, tense muscles, are you experiencing a tight chest, is your breathing going high, you're just kind of having that thought that you're on edge or there's dread about. And then you need to figure out what it is that's causing that thought, that sensation. What are you worrying about? So this worry could range from kind of anything. It could be a hypothetical situation, it could be a current problem that you're having, it could be something that is actually happening but you don't have any control over. So you kind of need to think that through and then ask yourself, can I do something about this? So is this a worry that I can do something about? Can I physically do anything that will change the worry or the situation that is causing the worry? If it's a hypothetical situation or if it's a worry that you can't do anything about, then the answer for that is no. And you have to say, okay, so I can't do anything about this worry. I've acknowledged it, I've thought it through. There's nothing I can do. So now it's time to let the worry go and then I've made that decision I need to try and distract myself and change my attention so you're redirecting your attention but because you acknowledge the worry it's not suppressing it it's acknowledging it's there letting it kind of have its say and then moving on from it so you're acknowledging it and then moving your attention on you are not distracting yourself to suppress the worry or to try and stop thinking about it if it is a current problem and it's something you can actually do something about the answer to that would then be yes so you need to think about what is it can I do about it. So I do an action plan. And with the action plan, it could be something that I've come up with from doing some kind of problem solving. There's a few problem solving frameworks out there. Um, but essentially, I need to think about what is it that I can do, when can I do it, and how am I going to achieve that. If it's something I can do now, the best way to get the worry off your back is to do it. And then once you've done it, you can tell yourself, I've controlled it. I've taken control of the worry or I've taken control of the situation in this case I can now let the worrying thoughts go and again do something to change the focus of your attention so do something to move on or move away from the worry if it's something that you can't do anything about now for instance if these worries come in the middle of the night it's unlikely you're going to be able to do anything with them in that moment in time quite often people get worries at the end of the day when they have done all the things that have been distracting them throughout the day and they're kind of alone, often in bed or about to go to bed and those thoughts start creeping in and those ones that kind of make you think oh, uh, now I've got time to think, I'm not distracted anymore um, I'm starting making a list of all the things that you're doing I'm feeling overwhelmed before I go to bed I'm starting to get that anxiety feeling if it is something that you can do something about later for instance in the morning in this case or the next day then schedule it. Write down what you're going to do and write down when you're going to do it. You're still taking control of the worry by doing this because you're saying, okay, I have this worry, but this is a plan that I've got for it. And because I have that plan, I can let the worry go. I can decide, I know I'm doing something about it. And then I can change the focus of my attention again. So if it is something that's bothering you when you're going to sleep, I advise writing it down because actually then you're not holding it in your head, which means that you're not using your working memory to try and remember something instead of you know, going to sleep. And it will kind of help you not stay awake. Um, but yeah, the idea between all these three kind of options or these three sort of decisions is basically to figure out how to acknowledge the worry and then let the worry go and then change your focus of attention afterwards. And that's just so you don't keep going back and going over it again and again and again. Once you've done the thing about it or made the decision that you need to make, it's then time to move on. So hopefully this kind of explains the idea of the worry tree. Like I say, it's basically a decision-making tree, but the idea is to help you figure out when you can drop those worries and when you can do something about it and putting that plan in place. When you can't do something about it, 
just acknowledging that it's there, it's been a worry that you've had, drop the worry, move on to the next thing, change focus of attention. So hopefully that's kind of been a helpful way of explaining things. If you find this kind of thing helpful, give us a like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. If you want to leave any comments, give us a comment in the comment section below, or you can always email us at mentalhealthgamersnetwork at gmail.com. That's all from me this week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.